Yeah. We had football, baseball, basketball, lacrosse, soccer, volleyball, tennis, wrestling, golf, and in spring we had track. And we have a championship debate team. The elementary students who attend here now are even luckier than I am because they are getting the opportunity to play sports and have access for the field for many more years than I did. I have attended City Springs since kindergarten. I appreciate my school's beautiful athletic complex. I also have high respect for my school's scholar athlete vision. City Springs wants to improve student achievement, school attendance, student health, and wellness through athletics and other activities. So I really want to thank Principal Rhonda Raquetta for the efforts that she made uh, to make this happen. She's truly an example how one person can make a tremendous difference. We try to make a difference in the lives of young people in Baltimore. We're committed to that. This field today is just one example of what we're trying to do. We continue to believe that sports can transform the lives of young people. I guess it's still morning, right? Good morning to everyone. First of all, um, I'm happy to be here uh, this afternoon with so many of you. I particularly, um, when I rode by this field and saw it, I said, wow, um, what working together can do. So I want to thank Dick Cass and the Ravens and Bob Embry and Leg Mason and all of the uh, folk who worked so hard to make sure that this happened. I want to thank um, Principal Machetta for the dream. I want to thank the kids for writing the plan um, to make sure that the dream became a reality. So again, thank you all for having me here. I want to thank Keith Scargis and his team, uh, Dr. Thornton, and the City Spring family. But one thing I want to say, I want to say this to the children, well to the youth. This is your house. The Ravens have the slogan say, protect this house. This is your house. Make sure you don't let anyone come in and destroy your house. Protect your house.